Well, welcome to the uh, 2016 Tri-Valley League Diving Championships being held separately uh, from the swimming this year here at Keefe Tech. Uh, my name is Jim Staus. I'm here with Ross Annenberg. And we're here above, high above, normally you'd say courtside, but we're high above poolside with our trusty videographer, Dave Franklin. Coach King is in his apropos orange along with assistant coach Jim Brainerd. It's boys versus boys and girls versus girls today. There'll be six dives for each individual dive. We will be scoring electronically from what I understand and we'll get a running total and we'll keep you abreast of the actual points if they come to us. There will be th five judges it looks like. Yep, so there'll be, uh, which actually I love because uh, they throw at the high and throw at the low and count the three in the middle which, uh, which tends to make the judging a little bit more consistent. Very good. Yeah. Very good. It's been a crazy year with uh, judges scoring and trying to figure out what the quality of the dives were per dive. So this will be, as you say, a three-person total dive as opposed to a five-person aggregate. That's right. That's right. Yeah, the, yeah, you always tend to get a judge that seems to be sticking out there either too high, too low. So this will uh, generally that tends to throw that, that problem out. So diving for Hopkinton, we've got... Uh, Maddie Staus and Lissy Annenberg, uh, Ali Morrow. Um, who else do we know? We've got Aaron Howe. Aaron Howe. Uh, Jack Jack McDonald. Jack McDonald. And I and believe Lee Toronto. Correct. And I think that's it. And Reese Reese Donahue, as as most people know by now, is out with a health issue, so he's his season. And actually, done. James Johnson. James Johnson. So first up is Jackie Dunn. Forward dive, Pike. The next six is across the board. Good job, Jackie. This is Rose. I can't read this very well. Rose Colella from Westwood. A little overextended there. Yeah. So I think in general what the judges will be looking for is uh, dives that have a nice, a nice apex to them, executing the dive at the top, and hopefully uh, a nice vertical entry at the bottom. First Hopkinton diver coming up here, Maddie, doing a forward one and a half in Pike. And that was a nice dive by Catherine Barado. Very nice, Maddie. Very smooth. Good. That should be well, really well rewarded. Seven and a half across the board, good from Maddie. And we've got Lee Toronto up, second, second Hopkinton diver. So I guess what you hope for is at least two eight and a half, because you can keep one of them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit over, but I don't, all in all a nice dive. Next diver up here is Emma Tour, is that how we pronounce that? Emma, yeah. From T Medfield. T-W-E-R. Four and a half pike, nicely done. A little bit long, a little washed over. Five and a half and six and a half, not bad. A 
Got a little bit extended. A little bit. Legs a open. Bit broke position somewhat throughout the dive. Now, there are no requirements to compete in the TVLs other than showing up. That's so right. you'll see a multitude of dives with very limited expertise, quality expertise, and exceptional expertise. That's so correct. Yep. We'll see how it shakes out. Now, I may have been mistaken, unless somebody is manually entering these scores in as they go. Uh, which perhaps they are doing. Yeah, to your earlier point, Ross, I think as the meet goes along, we'll see some of the more accomplished divers and their degree of difficulty will go up. Uh, and that's really where they separate themselves from the pack. There's Allie Moore. Overall, I thought that was a very nice dive. Yeah, she's she's improved significantly over the course of the absolutely swimming season, diving season. And that's Lizzie Toronto. Four, four. Just a Leah Toronto. Bit. That was Lizzie. No, that's her sister. Imagine. Oh, gotcha. And yeah, we're all the way down on. Casey Murphy here from Westwood. Nice dive. She got that in pretty clean. There you go. There's your example of uh, the Russian judge and then the <laughs> a seven and a half and a five all in one dive. Well, what I have found, here, I'll wait for, uh, wait for Lissy to go. Very nice. Good dive for Lissy. Uh, what I find, what I find here in these high school meets from us is that the uh, the judges tend to focus, over focus on the entry, and don't judge the entire dive. Gotcha. And I, it's funny, I, I, I bother to read the uh, MIAA rule book on how, you know, how they're supposed to judge. And the three components, right? The hurdle, uh, the dive itself, and the entry. And all three, all three really should factor into the overall score that the judge gives. But generally, you get one in pretty clean, and you're going to get scored pretty well no matter what you do. <coughs> now we, we're uh, into the boys' division. First dive for the boys is uh, Zachary Lawrence, or no, excuse me, Ben Sturgis, Ashland High School. Yeah, Ben is actually a, a good diver. Um, saw him for the first time at the at the Ashland meet. The controversial Ashland meet. Yes, very. Where a title was stripped after the completion of the tally of the of the uh, results. But that's for another day. Exactly. And that was Callum Baker. And next is Zachary Lawrence from DS High School. I just read recently as the number one ranked public high school in Massachusetts. Dover Shoreborn. Not surprised. No. Yeah. There's a house on Woodland Street, which is a cut through street to get to Route 16. It's got to be 15,000 square feet and six acres. Yeah. There's Aaron Howe. Uh, he missed his hurdle a bit. That dive is too far down the pool. So we know that it has a wealth of uh, education. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So Aaron's sporting his, uh, his new mohawk. His mother informed me he is cleanly shaven now for the swimming portion of the meet tomorrow. A little bit more information than we yeah. need to know. Yeah. 
<laughs> that was William Flanagan. And the next is Ethan O'Rourke from the lovely town of Westwood. Front drive straight. That seems to be a mistake, according to Ethan. Perhaps not. The correct description would be front dive straight position. And the kids are using, uh, what are they using? Sort of a hot tub over there? What is that called, Jim? The warm up pool, a warm up waiting? Yeah, it's a, it's a hot tub. It's, it's just a way for these uh, divers to keep warm between dives. Is it more psychological or is it? Well, you know, you've got, a, you've got a fair amount of time between dives, so it's just a way to relax, stay loose, keep your muscles loose. Try not to overthink between dives. And I think this is Thomas Lund from Medfield. Or dive tuck. Now, what you'll find, uh, Jim, and correct me if I'm wrong, because you have a little bit more history with this, is a lot of the boys, it seems like they're diving at the country club, and they're they're showing off country club skills from a summer aspect. Yeah, it's possible. I think. Uh, well, I think what you what what you're really seeing is that you know most of these divers, I would say, have their high school team that they dive for and for three months out of the year, and that's it. Gotcha. Uh, unlike. You know, Lissy and Maddie and a few others who kind of take this as a year-round endeavor. Yeah, and Reese. And Reese and a few others. We'll see. Uh, Four, three, and Mike Chiracco. So it's in the Tri-Valley League here. There they're, um, they're are not as many divers that, that, that dive club. That's really where you get it. Nice dive, Jack. Nice dive. Beautiful top on that dive. So that was that was uh, Jack McDonald. They're still trying to figure out his scores. It's actually a pretty good first dive for Jack. That yeah, was. Yeah, he's come a long way. I coached him for a little while. Um, last year uh, for a club team. Back in the world of Zap. Back in the world of Zap. I think uh, I think Jim Brainerd had it right because he executed every aspect of that dive well with the exception of the entry. I presume the next person up, Mike, is probably the odds-on favorite to win without Reese being here. Correct. Yeah, well, Mike is a, uh, is a very strong diver. He's got great degree of difficulty. Yeah, very nice. He'll, he should get eights on that dive. And there you go. Eights across the board. Pretty consistent dive. Yeah. Got a good crowd here today, 100 plus, I would think. Yeah. And that was the last dive of the first round, Jack Brennan completing the dive. From Hopkinton. And now we go on to round two. Back to the girls. He got a, he got a nice little applause there. Jackie Dunn, back somersault straight. Nice dive in the air, tough to control the entry on this dive. Break in position there, but I don't think the judges are going to penalize her too badly for that. No? Good dive by Jackie. That rose from Westwood. Looks like she's doing a 
102C, so Ford Somersault. Tuck. Catherine Barrett, Medfield High School, 1.6 on the Richter scale. 201B, so this is a back dive. Nice dive. She got that in very clean. You could hear a pin drop around here. And Maddie. Here next dive, 104B. So this is a four, two somersaults in Pike. It's all about the board work here. Very nice dive. Good top on that dive. Six and a half. Six and a half. Across the board, not too bad. I thought it was a little better than that. I did too. I think maybe the judges might have might have penalized her level for being too tight to the board. But uh, I didn't think she was dangerously close. Four, one and a half pike for Lee. Five and a half. A little long. Emma's coming up. Another Medfield diver. Yep, 201A. So for those people that are interested in the geographics, that's the town next to the best high school in the state. <laughs> Good school, though, Medfield. A lot of the football players live in that area. Medfield, Walpole, yep. Foxborough. I think our announcer is a little, she, her order is off. Back dive straight. Not bad. Not too bad. Typically, you're looking for the girls to define the dive by getting into the straight position and then closing back up for the entry. But the judges didn't seem to mind that she didn't do that. Seems to me a lot of those other divers, maybe the 15 other divers, they're, they're not really, like you said, the degree of difficulty. It's just, it's not there, so yeah. Uh, that was Emma. Emma Note Nadell, and this is Wilhelmina Howell. <laughs> yeah, so you already seen the difference now, whereas most of these girls on their second dives are doing back dives to four and one and a half, and Maddie and Lissy are, you know, already stepping up their DD on the second dive. Coming up here, I think Allie's going to be doing four double in the tuck. 2.2. Allie's a former gymnast who came over this year and has actually uh, didn't quite come all the way out of that one. Yeah, it looks like she missed the board a little bit on the hurdle. She didn't quite get all the ride off the diving board she was looking for. Got Lizzie, Lizzie Toronto here. And Lizzie, a little tentative, I would say, on that dive. What year is she in? You know, I think she's a freshman. Is she? Yeah. Casey Murphy from Westwood next on the on the rotation. That's a four double tuck. If you could just extend on the entry, that would have been a very nice dive. Four, five, 
grab a couple more points for herself per judge. Here's Lissy with her double pike. That's a good dive for Lissy. Good dive for Lissy. She should get sevens out of that, I would think. Good for her. Good dive. I think the feet first entries are very difficult to control. So yeah, that's the. Uh, and that is Liz Cahill, former teammate of Lissy's in gymnastics world, who started diving a little over a year ago. She she dives for Ashland. Yeah, I think the. Um, The gymnastics to diving transition is harder than most people think it would be. But uh, once you get, once you finally figure it out, the gymnasts generally have a leg up, you know, because they're already used to the twisting and flipping. Yeah, I think one of the caveats is that they have to learn how to land on their feet as opposed to their head. Right. That's a, that's it's tough for gymnasts to get comfortable with the uh, with the diving the diving aspect versus the feet aspect. This Round two for the boys. Ben Sturgis. A little break on the way down. Hopefully the judges will notice that. Well. <laughs> judges are willing to overlook a few things here and there, which is to be expected. This is Kalem Baker in Norton High School. Apparently Norton's part of the Tri-Valley. That's something, learn something new every day, Ross. And it's not a dual school, so <laughs> we're good. <laughs> Zach Ross doing a 104C, so four double in the tuck position. A little over. A little bit, a little tentative on the way out. You probably didn't quite know where the, where the out was on that. We've got uh, Aaron Howe, four double. Aaron actually really knows how to ride the board and get these dives way up in the air. There we go. That's not a bad dive. Nice top on that dive. That's sixes, six and halves. Good for him. Good dive. Yeah, he's, he's, uh, he's definitely improved. I think he's, he saw the light. And he's also a dual threat. He's swimming tomorrow. That's right. He is Wheaton. Wheaton College bound. He is for four to one team. female to male ratio. Good luck, Aaron. <laughs> Let's hope he can keep his his mind on his studies. Mm -hmm. And that's I think where Norton is. Norton. That is correct. Yeah. So we have a little geography there. So Ethan O'Rourke, one hundred three B, one and a half Pike. God, I feel like I feel like I'm in Ireland with Flanagan's or Rourke's and McDonald's <laughs> and <laughs> Brennan's. <laughs> yeah, that was way over. Uh, he's gonna get fours and fives. Yeah. I think a lot of the boys, it seems again, as we talked about the first round, it doesn't seem like they just I know you say it's a three month sport for them, but it just doesn't seem like they focus in when they're approaching the dive. It's more of I'm just getting up and yeah. shooting a jump shot. Right. Well, I think uh, I think that's one thing you learn in competition is uh, that the uh, the mental aspect of this sport is equally as important as executing the dive and and, and the vision you know all of the visualization that you, you're trying to put yourself through prior to getting up on the board is really important. Joe Tarico, we just had a announcement. Ad no uh, flash photos. Admonishing the crowd. It's not going to prevent people from taking photographs, let me tell you. <laughs> yeah, well one, the, one thing, the one thing I've learned about suburbia parents, they don't listen. I don't care. <laughs> this must be uh, James Johnson. JJ. Yeah. Another 
freshly shaven mohawk. Which, which all the boys on the swim team did yesterday with the exception of Jack McDonald apparently. Peter from Medfield. Looks like he'll be doing a... I think he has a sister competing in the same, on the, on the I, girls' side, I think Peter right. Barrett. So back somersault straight. Well, he, they may fail him on that. He had a full full half twist on that, uh, or quarter twist. He's lucky to get a score, I have to say. His shoulders were facing that wall, and he went in the water. I don't anticipate him placing anyways. No. Jack McDonald. Forward double tuck. There you go, Jack. I give Jack a lot of credit. Good job, Jack. He's a yeah. junior at Hopkinton High School, well liked by his peers. Yeah. He's got a great name, Jack Mack, better known as John McDonald. He, uh, you know, he really makes a. Uh, he's got a great work ethic. You know, he's he's very focused when he comes to the pool. Actually, a very nice dive. Jared Turwigler. Yeah, Mike Tirico doing a 2.4. 105C. So it's a four, two and a half pike. Excuse me, tuck, I'm sorry. Two and a half C is tuck. That should be an easy dive for him. Ooh, a little overextended. A little bit, but came out above the diving board. Eight and a half, I think, is a little generous. Mm. That's why we have the five judges. Jack Brennan completing the second round. And Four he almost took tuck. that dive halfway through. <laughs> A little, uh, that's one thing the judges don't want to see is they, they don't want to see the dive too close to the board. They don't want to see the dive too far down the pool either. Kind of like three bears? Exactly. You know, probably if you're two or three feet away from the diving board, I think that's probably the distance that you want to be. Right, back to Jackie Dunn. Nice dive, reverse dive tuck. Good distance from the board. Family friend? Yeah, the Dunns, we've been friends with the Dunns for their ex uh, Hopkinton people. And I think live now in that way. I saw the exchange, yeah. greeting. Played a lot of golf with Rich Dunn. Yeah. Hope that included beverages and cigars. <laughs> with Rich, it normally does, yeah. Back dive straight. For Catherine Beretta. No, I'm sorry, that was Rose. Rose from Westwood. Catherine, who, whose brother just is competing for the boys, I presume, right. is uh, Medfield High School. Third dive. Reverse dive, pike position. This is a beautiful dive when done when done correctly. That is a balk, so she's going to be deducted two points for that. So they will declare a balk once she completes the dive. Tough one, it's a tough one to swallow. So they take, right, so they'll take the scores and deduct two from those. So they'll do that at the scores table. This is Maddie's third dive, 403C. So this will be an inward one and a half tuck position. This is turning out to be a good dive for her. If she gets the entry right, she's uh, she'll be in good shape. A little short. She's going to get penalized for that. Pay sixes. Six and a half, six and a half, six, six and a half. Six and a half. Yeah. Just a little short. So where, tell me where that went wrong, because it looked good to me. Short of vertical, so she didn't get all the way around and drop it in vertically. She was short. Gotcha. Yeah. 
She's been learning this dive in the pike position, so she's not competing at pike yet. Uh, so she's a little unsure as to where the tuck comes out now. Somersault tuck. I think if you want to have an idea of what the proper score should be, you should just keep an eye on Jim Brainerd in the uh, in the orange shirt. And I'm guessing the most qualified of the judges down there. Somersault Street. I've lost track of where we are, Ross. We're um, with Emma, and then Wilhelmina's next. Sorry, the Hannah's next. Peterson, that was Wilhelmina from okay. Dover Turborn. They're in the blue. Green is Westwood. And then Allie Morrow back to Hopkinton. Right, right. Okay, good. So we've got Hannah. She looks like she's going to be doing a back somersault on the straight position. Popular dive for these girls. Break a little twist. Ellie Morrow doing a 2.2. It's an inward one and a half in the uh, tuck position. This is one of the hard dives for the gymnasts to understand. They're moving their hips as she switched around. She got it in okay though. Um, where, I, where I, I just have to give Allie such credit is that uh, if she's a first year diver and she's already got a nice list of, you know, good degree of difficulty Absolutely. dives. Absolutely. You know? She's not afraid to take a chance. That's right. Get Lizzie Toronto here. Inward dive tuck. A little break on the way down. Four and a half, pretty much across the board. Casey Murphy's next. One point seven. coming up. I imagine she and Maddie typically have a similar list when they come to these meets. Maddie tells me that they, they get together and they put their list together. In between the dancing. <laughs> exactly. That's exactly right. A little over, but boy, she twists so nicely in the air. Yeah. It's a great looking dive in the air. I'm glad uh, I'm glad they weren't focused on the entry. She got what she deserved on the sevens across the board. She's going to roll that over into a one and a half soon enough, and that's going to be awesome. Right back one and a half pike. I think uh, Elizabeth Cahill from Ashland is probably the only diver girl that's probably going to challenge Maddie and Lissy in this meet. And put challenge in quotations. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> Ooh, that's a tough one. Yeah. Yeah, almost a... Uh, yeah, as we go on to the boys. Two, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. 
Hey, we've changed announcers here. I thought the voice was deeper. Yeah. <laughs> Strong kid. The bad guy broke a little bit coming into the water, broke, broke his legs, but uh, sixes and six and a half. Pretty consistent. Yep. Yep. Kalen Baker on the mound tonight. 1.6 from Norton High, NHS. And a one and a half. Somersault. 402. I misread that. Zachary Lawrence from Dover, Sherborne. Back, back one and a half tuck. Not bad. Well done. That's a uh, that's a blind dive, so it's very difficult to uh, to understand pretty, when you're supposed pretty to come solid. out of that. Yeah, a good dive. Pretty solid dive. I was impressed. Generally, with the back and half, the back spinners and the reverse spinners, you're trying to spot an area on the wall to kick out to, uh, which is a really difficult thing to do. He doesn't have the traditional diver's body either. No. Here it is, two and a half. A little long. Uh, the judges liked it. Sixes and fives. That was a 2.4. Yep. So yeah, that Aaron, was a tough dive. Aaron has the ability to get some degree of difficulty up there. And he seems like he got a fan base here, too. Absolutely. <laughs> and he'll continue that on, as you aptly <laughs> note, at Wheaton College. Four to one, you said? Four to one ratio. <laughs> kind of like Skidmore. <laughs> Should have gone to skid more. <laughs> Back somersault with a half twist in the free position. Still waiting for a diver to really uh, break out with a, a wow factor dive here. And just on a footnote, we wish Reese the best of health. Hopefully he comes back soon. He's a integral part of the team. Yeah, it's a, uh, I'm sure it's not, certainly not how he wanted to end his season. He's been having a great season. He'll be, uh, so long as all things go well, he'll be diving at UMass Amherst next year. Six, seven and one half. Six, five and one half, five and one half. So next up, we've got uh, Aiden. Aiden Savoy. Reverse somersault tuck. Got that in nice and clean. One of his teammates, Thomas Lunn from Medfield High. Dive just a little long a vertical. Six is across the board, pretty much. James Johnson to compete. Is he a freshman? I believe he may be. So this would be a. Uh, he's a senior. Inward dive. Inward dive. Tuck. Oh, he's a senior. He's my a bad. Senior. Wow. Tells you what I know. <laughs> a little tight. A little tight to the board. Oh, he's a twin, too. I've just been informed by, by uh, some of the parents he's a twin. This kid comes right up. And Tough to control that entry that far down the pool, but uh, fives, fives, fives and a half. 
But Jack, Jack Mack? Yep, Jack, Jack Mack, as we described, he does not participate in the Mohawk shaving. No, he doesn't. Inward dive tuck. We've got Mike Tirico jumping in the back background here. Case Jack, very nice. Well done, Jay. He should get sixes and sevens out of that time. Seven, six and one half. Six and one half. Six and one half. Six and one half. Wow. Off the board. Jack Mack. Despite the fact that Mike Tirico was jumping up and down right in his line of sight. <laughs> And this is Jared Terwilliger. 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 Ooh, and there was a hush among the yeah. crowd. Well, thankfully, on a back somersault, you're somersaulting away from the diving board, which is nice. Yeah, I don't, I don't think physic, I don't think the physics of that was going to allow him to hit the board. No. It, the, the graphics were, a lot, the video was a lot <laughs> tougher than the physics. Oh, yeah. And this is Mike Trico. Back one and a half pike. Beautiful. Just takes it right up over the diving board, just the way it's supposed to be. Eight and a half is. A little on the generous side. And Jack Brennan to complete round number three as we go back to the ladies. So halfway through, about a 40 minute, 40 minutes. So this is moving right along, it's running very efficiently. Jackie Dunn, fourth dive. One and a half in the pike. What grade is she in? I know, I forget. Oh, she missed the hurdle. What year is Jackie? Jackie's a senior, senior at Medway. Yeah, she uh, she missed the hurdle completely, unfortunately. This is Rose from Westwood. Inward dive, tuck position. 1.4 in the degree of difficulty. Very clean entry. Back dive with a half twist. Dive for uh, for Catherine. Yeah. This looks. I believe this will be Maddie's forward somersault with two twists. Two point three. Typically a good dive for her if she gets the board work right. Good dive, Maddie. A little bit over twisted. A little over, but sevens looks like. Good for her. Seven across the board. Good solid dive. Yeah. Back somersault tuck. Emma from Medfield. 1.5. Excuse me, 1.6. Inward. Uh, we're, we're back to back, Emma's. That's right. Inward somersault tuck. <laughs> to me, that's the, one of the scarier dives because you are spinning back five towards the diving board. Six, five, one, 
dive pike. You don't see you don't see too many Wilhelminas around. No. Nice dive. A little, a little back away from the board, but uh, in general. Now I gotta throw that eight out. <laughs> I think the, the judge of the green jacket is. <laughs> this may be her first time out there on the judging panel. And we go to Hannah. Back dive, half twist. The hard part about that dive is, is uh, you're supposed to begin the dive facing one way and end the dive, but a lot of a lot of kids learning that dive will just turn around and do a forward dive. And I correct myself, that was Wilhelmina. This one's Hannah. This is Hannah. Reverse dive. Straight. And back when I was diving across many, many hundreds of years ago. All of the required dives were in the straight position. Forward dive, back dive, inward dive. Everything was straight. Nobody did pike or tuck. That's just how you did it. Alan Morrill, great dive. Boy, she sure can't twist. And that's really where that gymnastics training pays off, honestly. I don't know how the first the judge gave her a five. What is he missing? That was an excellent dive. That was a very good dive. Back dive straight. Four. That was three, Lizzie three. Toronto. Lizzie Toronto. Next, Casey Murphy. Part of the Murphy family of Westwood. There's probably only one or two Murphys in Westwood would be my guess. You think? Mm -hmm. Double twister. Four. Well done. Five, 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 four, one, half, five. Now what we're looking for is for the divers to actually square out with their arms and stop that twist rather than corkscrew it in. But uh, 2.3 for Lissy. This is Lissy's. 203B. Back one and a half pike. That's a good dive for Lissy. She keeps it up over her toes. Yeah, nicely done. She should Four. get sixes and sevens, I would, I would say, on that dive. Good for her. A tough dive. Dive from the uh, from the Ashland diver. She's she's holding her own in this meet, I would say. In which somersault tuck for Isabel. Backed away from the board a little bit. As that completes round four for the women, girls, and we move on to, move on to Gentle Ben. Ben Sturgis. Just play forward one and a half. Forward one twist. Certainly got it in the water. Six, six, six. Five and one half. Five and one half. A little slow to twist because he was still in the pike position throughout it's, that it's, dive. And it seemed like the distance was a little bit yeah, off. It was yeah. a little bit far out. He got some good height, but. You'll find when you watch uh, divers like Natty or Lissy, when they twist, they are perfectly straight, which speeds that twist up. If you're still piked, it just slows that twist down quite a bit. Now I believe
believe that uh, he's going to get a little penalized for having his hands up above his shoulders on the entry. You've got to get your hands down in order to get properly scored on the dive. And you've got fours, fours and a half, four and a half as a result. This is Aaron Howell, fourth dive, 2.2. In with one half tough. Very Pretty nice dive, dive from Aaron. I think he should get rewarded by the judges there with sevens. You bet. Good for him. Give a little golf clap. A little golf clap for Aaron. There's the wow. That's yep. the first one of the night. <laughs> <laughs> Billy Flanagan from Holliston High School. <laughs> Again, Holliston, Holliston not known for their diving and swimming prowess, but they are state champs in football, so. Yeah, that's all that matters, year <laughs> after year after year. Yep, they must be corn fed there. As we go on to Ethan O'Rourke. Back dive straight. Four. That didn't quite get the rotation he was looking for on that dive. Four one and a half. Four one and a half. Six. Five. Five. Six. Yeah, six was a generous one. We go back to Aiden Savoy of Medfield. As we're it's med not just Medfield, but Medfield. High school swimming and diving. Correct. In case you were wondering. Yes. They, they have multiple entries. A little long. Had his had his chin tucked tucked in the entire way. This generally causes that dive to go over. And all in all, pretty good pretty good scores from the judges. Five and a half. Thomas Lunn, another fellow member of the MHSS D team. Back to have half twist. Four. four, five and one half. Five, five, four and one half. James. And one and a half for the ball. Right, James. Four oh three C Peterson. And one and a half. For James, I'd like to see him get this in nice and vertical. He's got to be careful. The judges are going to ding him for excessive rocking in the dive board. Good dive for him. There you go, James. Well done. Dive tuck for Peter. Another midfield, uh, another midfield athlete. Lost, he lost his balance a little bit four, on the press. Four, three, four, four, five. John. Back dive straight. Jared. Back dive straight. Jack Mack. Jack Mack. Have to see him take this up and over. That's a nice dive from Jack Mack. Oh, I tell you, so far through four dives, he's having a really nice meet. Six and one half, five and one half, six and one half, six, six. Nice. You can see that Lissy and Maddie are down there Jared, talking about us. 52, 21 <laughs> back, one somersault half Because they are so three. laser focused on the meet right now. Exactly. <laughs> Tell you what, I like that dive. Boy, he really took that up nicely. Six. Six. And he's and getting one rewarded half. with six, sixes. Six. 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 Had a nice top. Good job, Jared. Well controlled. Got it in nice and vertical. Five. Just what you want to see. 404C. Inward two somersaults top. That sounds like a jewelry commercial, right? <laughs> you got it at Jared? 
<laughs> nice dive from Mike Tirico. Tell you seven, what, he's a eight, solid diver. Eight, seven, seven and one half. Now that is. Uh, it would have been nice to see him and Reese. teammate at, at, teammate at, at best. Yeah, yeah, they don't really, they're teammates uh, officially, but there's not really a. That's his dad, Joe, that runs the program. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he's, yeah they're, they're teammates. Awards? He's quiet. Two, two and one half. Four, Jack Brennan didn't quite half, execute that dive. Oh, into the fifth round here. Five, like she's doing three, two, one, D. Oh, sorry, Lynn. Reverse sorry. one somersault, half twist three. Yeah, this is a Rose. reverse twisting somersault. Thinking it through. Boards? No. Four and a half. Yeah. In the free position, five, the only thing you're not supposed to do is, is you're not supposed to bend your legs into a tuck. That's 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 a seven broken, one half. Am broken I, position. Am I watching something that we're not watching? That's a broken position. Wow. They need to put the woman in the green out the pasture. Mm. I think that is her coach. A little tight. Four and one half, five, four and one half, five, four and one half. Catherine with the, uh, with the back, the back twisting. Catherine, 402C, inward one somersault I'm sorry. tuck. I'm sorry, I'm reading the wrong dive. Inward somersault tuck. Maddie on deck. Good, uh, good dive from the uh, Westwood Five diver. And one half. Six, six, Sorry, six, Medfield five diver. And one half. Pretty consistent dive. I think it'd be a back somersault, two and a half twists. Two point three. Oh, one and a half twists. She's not throwing the two and a half twister. She gets squared out of this. This should be a nice dive. Nice dive from Maddie. A little bit long. Six, six and one half. Seven, seven, seven. Good for her. Nice shot. Good dive. 401 B. And we're dive fight, Emma. Awards? Very nice. Five and one half. Six and one half. Five and one half. Five and one Good half. Good for her. Six. Wow, that was a nicely executed in the dive. Back to back Emma's. So I noticed that uh, Reese is over there videotaping yeah. this dive so the girls can, they can all go over and watch the dive after they're done. Yeah. Not sure what purpose that serves other than for future beats. That's right. But he's still helping out. This is Wilhelmina. No, that was Emma. That was Emma. Now Wilhelmina. Six. Six bingo. Joker, Joker, Joker. Wilhelmina. Back somersault tuck. She gets a smile from her coach as she gets onto the board. Wilhelmina. Awards. Four and one half, four and one half, five, five, four and one half. Across the board. 
was Casey five Murphy. One six one six, five, Excuse me, I apologize. Five, one that one was half. Hannah Peterson. Allie doing a 1.7202A. Well, I'd like to see her training as a gymnast help her pull this dive off. Very nice. She gets Four sixes. Sixes. sevens out of that, I would imagine. Six and one half. Yeah. Six and one half. Six and one half. Six Great and position one in the air. Seven. Comfortable going in on her feet. Elizabeth Toronto, member of the HHS team. Max Somersault. She fell a little bit off the board as she was making her Four. press. And twisted on the way in the water. Two, so the judges two, are taking that score half, pretty far three, down. Half, Casey Murphy of Westwood. Lissy doing a 2.7. Why don't you describe that one for me? Back somersault, two and a half twists. That's a good dive for her. She knows how to twist really, really well. It's just a matter of controlling the entry for her. And she'll get sixes out of that, I imagine. Yeah, that's great. For that degree of difficulty, that's points, points, points. Six, right six and one half, six and one half, five and one half, six and one half. Elizabeth, Elizabeth 2.5. 2. What do we got here, one, Jim? Excuse me. Back one, back one and one half service halts, one and one half to us free. Back one and a half, one and a half. If she can pull this off, I tell you, she's right in this meet. Rotated, but I'll tell you what, Four. she's going to get fives out of that. That's a good dive. Four and one half, six and one half, five and one half, five, five. So I'll throw the six out, throw the six and one half out, throw the four and a half out, fives across. Ben's going to give Mike a run. Yeah. yeah, he's diving very well. That was 2.2. That was a tough one. Mm -hmm. out with a 2.2 so this is one of his yeah he's gonna have to uh, uh, over rotate it a little bit but uh, boy he stood it right Sixes. up six six seven 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 all right six and a half for Aaron. Yeah. Average. Back straight. William. Aaron needs to bang this one too this is uh, uh, 1.7 so he just needs to this is the one I inward dive he gets some height on it right excuse me back right straight yeah. Right. Yeah, not a bad Four dive, really. Sevens. A little short of vertical. Six and one half. Six and one half. Six, nice position in six, the air. Seven. I like to see that nice flat back as opposed to an arch back, which uh, helps improve the scores. Reverse somersault. Reverse one somersault. Reverse somersault tuck. For uh, 
young Mr. Flanagan. Ah, sat down on the entry a little bit. Four, one half. Four, five, five, four, one half. Ethan, 52, 11, A. Back dive straight, half twist. Aiden. Half twist. Boards are five and one half, six, five and one half, five and one half, five and one half. <laughs> Aiden, 52, 22 D, back one somersault, one twist free. Thomas. So he'll go in facing the diving board. A tough, tough dive to control the entry. Break in the action. Good chance to go get pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody lose a contact. <laughs> well, just thank God there was no wardrobe malfunction. <laughs> said it was a G-rated show. <laughs> uh, looks like they're going to be looking for some uh, some s contact uh, contact solution, perhaps. You never think that you have a pause in the uh, in the event for a uh, for a contact. I'm assuming that's a contact. Yeah, I'm really sure what I'm not sure what's going to happen next. Mm -hmm. uh, That's it. Let's just hope he's not a proctologist, right? James. This is Thomas Long. Yeah, back somersault tuck. In the, in the somersault tuck, I'm sorry. Awards? Six and one half. Six, 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 five and one half. Wow, nice. And we've got James coming up. James. Did you see the 30-30 uh, on the Bears? 1985 Bears? You know, the ESPN 30 for 30? Just happened this past week. It was really good. Buddy Ryan. Ah, James, very nicely done. Awards? They put, the, the, half, they six, put the Patriots six, away six, pretty quick. Six, oh, yes, they did. <laughs> Although they were losing 3 nothing. <laughs> well, when the fridge was running them in. Yeah. Yeah. Peter Barrett. Awards. Four and one half. Four and one half. Five. Five. Four and one half. John McDonald doing a 1.8, 301A. Dive, dive straight. Jack has worked very hard at this dive. A little four bit short. Five. Get fours and fives probably. Five, four and one half, four and one half, five, five. Just a little short. Crowd pleaser though. They all know how hard that dive is for Jack to do. Hopkinton is well represented with the swim portion over there in the corner. Five and one half, five and one half, six, five and one half, five and one half. Five, 52, 33D, back one and one half somersaults, one and one half twist, three, Jack. This is my
Mike Trico doing a 2.5. Wow. This back one half, one half. This is a nice die for him. Yeah. Oof, yeah. He gets some height on that. Yeah, he sure does. Six and one half, six and one half, seven and one half, six and one half, six. We'll split Jack on the Brennan entry. to complete round number five. Then we'll dive talk for Jack. JB. Very nice. I think that Mohawk is just making him that much more aerodynamic in the six air. And one half. Six. Absolutely. Six and a half. Six and a half. Great dive. That might have been his Great dive of the night for John, okay. Jack Brennan. Into the final round here. Jackie, 401B, Edward Dive, Tyke, Rose. Oh, nice dive by Jackie Dunn. Seven and one half, seven, six, five and one half. Yeah, I think the five and a half is probably worth for the closest to the board, yeah. again, I guess. Rose from Westfoot completing her last round at a 1.6. Three and a half? A little Four. short, yeah. Three and one half, three and one half, three and one half, three and one half, three. Catherine Barrett. Catherine. Good dive. Good dive for Catherine. Six, six, six Sixes. And one half. Five nice. and one half. Maddie doing a 2.3. She's finishing up with a reverse one and a half. Oh, excuse me. Back one, one, uh, two, oh, back one and a half pike. Back yeah. one and a half pike Maddie just started competing this dive this year. She stays over her toes. She should have a pretty nice dive. Good for her. Good nice dive solid for dive. You see six and a half to seven. Seven. Down, right? Six and one half. Seven and one half. Seven. Seven. Seven right across right. the board. Good nice dive. dive. Excellent. Good job for Maddie. Back dive, half twist straight. Last year she crashed her back one and a half in this meet. And uh, so that was a nice, uh, a nice comeback dive for her. Five and one half. Five and one half. Nice, Emma. nice meet for Leah. Emma, Emma, back to back, Emma. Not bad. That's a nice. That's a nice dive. Kept it right up over the board, right where you're supposed Five to be. Five and one half. Seven and one half. Six and one half. Six. Six and one half. Yeah. Emma. The second judge is uh, is really not. She's not afraid to whip out the high scores. Straight down from the board. Six, okay. six, five and one half. Five, four and one half. <laughs> Hannah, 5321D. Reverse one somersault, half twist free. Alley. She executed that dive. Well, she should get fives and sixes on that. Five and one half, six and one half, five and one half, five and one half, six and oh, one half. Oh, good dive for her. Nice dive. Yeah. 
Allie Morrow finishing up with a 2.2, 2.3, 5223 D. Back twisting somersault. I'll tell you, I think Allie's right in this meet as well. She's having a great meet. Great dive for her. Yeah, that's that's a solid great dive. dive. Six, six and one half, six and one half, six and one half, seven. Yeah, I think the seven was the, the proper score. Yeah. I'm not sure we were coming up with just six. Boy, that was a really nicely done dive. Yeah, that was a nice solid dive. Jim Brennan, I mean, Jim Brainerd giving her the right score. Yeah. Elizabeth Toronto completing her freshman year. Long so dive. Half half 1.8. Casey Murphy next. Oh, she hung on to that one just a little too long, I think. Didn't quite know where the out was there. Lissy closing out a 2.2. That's her inward one and a half uh, tuck. This is a good dive for her. Got mom dutifully yeah. taping the dives. A little short of vertical. Probably not what she was hoping for. That's uh, Generally, she's... She's got a little something more for that dive. I think it's going to be pretty close, but I'm guessing she's probably successfully defended her TV. I don't know. I don't know. I think it might be a tie. <laughs> Could be. <laughs> Girls are close. I think the uh, I think the um, I think the girl from Ashley, Four quite frankly, is going to be right there as well. Six and one half. Seven. Six and one half. Although six and one half. She's not. Uh, six and one half. Yeah, that degree of difficulty wasn't. Yeah. Yeah, it was close. They're, they're right in each other. Yeah, I mean, it's, like they always are. It's going to come down to the sectionals and states and, you know, whoever has the better day. Is he trying not to fall off the board here? Back dive straight. Awards? Five and one half, five and one half, six, six, five and one half. And that concludes it for the girls. I'm thinking we're going to go one, two, four. Four, oh, one, B, inward dive, five. Give or Allie. take. Yeah, we could go one, two, three. I we really could. think Allie had yeah. that kind of a meet. She did. Well, that was Four. very nice. He's going to get scored up for that. Eight, eight and one half, seven and one half, eight. Seven. Ben, another fan favorite. Yeah. Maybe he should be going to Wheaton. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't that the truth. Awards are? Six. Five and one half, five and one half, six, five and one half. Zach, 403C, inward one and one half, stubborn salt, It's so funny how the divers each have a different strategy on how to finish a meet. Some of them want to finish with an easier dive just to finish strong. You know, you get a little mentally worn out towards the end and some save their hardest for the Lord. last. Six and one half, six and one nice half. Nice dive. Seven, seven, six and one Good half. Good dive for him. Some, some. Aaron, 51, 22 D. Forward one somersault, one twist three. William. Some, one somersault, one twist for Aaron to finish up. Uh, missed the board a little bit. Boy, did he do a nice job of the dive off, of, off an iffy hurdle. Six, six, six. Sixes Six across the board. Half. Good meet for Aaron Howe. Very consistent from the first dive to the sixth dive. I'm predicting a third place finish for Aaron Howe. Yeah, I would agree.
Awards. Four and one half, four and one half, four and one half, five and one half, five. <laughs> Ethan, 202 City, back one summer salt, Tuck, Aiden. Be fives out of that dive. Yeah. Four and one half. Five and one half. Five. 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 Just a little back away from the board. Tough to control the entry when it's that far out. Tough time to get right. Are. Six, five and one half. Six, five and one half. Six. Thomas, 403C, and we're one and one half somersault. Tuck, James. Six dives to go. Yeah. Medfield having a decent showing here at this meet. And we're one and a half. Tucked. Do we have any information, Dave? Not a bad dive Awards. from the uh, medfield diver. A little six, back. Six and one half. Yeah. Six, five and a little one short half, of, little short of vertical, but uh, all in all, a good dive. And James finishing up with a back, back one somersault straight. James Johnson. Just a little Awards. back. Sat down in the entry a little bit. Four and one half, five. five I think you'll get half, fives five across the board. Half, five, and five and a half. Good yeah. for James. Peters next. 104C, forward two somersaults, tough. John. John is after Peter. I just hung on to that tuck a little four. long. Five, 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 four. One more fives, though. That's a. Probably about as good as he was going to get on that dive. Jack Mack needs to close this out strong. That's Jack what we're hoping for. Twist. Absolutely. He's worked hard on this dive as well. 1.8. Good dive by Jack Mack. There Awards. you go. Great meet for him. Six and one half. Six and one half. Six. Good job, Jack. Six. Six. I'll tell you, he's going to be top ten in this meet for sure. Oh, absolutely. Top ten. Top, top, maybe top five. Five or six. Mm. Let's see. Uh, yeah. Uh, probably, probably just a degree of difficulty. Might yeah. Hold him back a little probably bit. seventh. No. Jared. He's had a good meet. 202. 2.2. Close it out. Awards. Five and one half. Five. Five and one half. Five and one half. Five. Let's see what Mike Chirico's got left here. Play a double twisting one and a half. Yeah. This would be a fun day to watch. 2.6. A little break, a little split at the end, but uh, he gets, should get sixes seven, on that. Seven, six, seven and one half, six, six. He missed, the hurdle. he missed this hurdle just a little bit. Didn't quite make it to the end of the board. And that will complete the diving portion of the TVLs with Jack Brennan, the last competitor of the evening. And tried to dive it out of the pool. He did. Five, three, He's not used four, to having all that mohawk. Right, good job by all the divers. I thought Hopkinson had a great showing today. They did. Very solid great program. Showing, all of them. Across the board, we'll no, get some totals. Nobody missed, a, nobody missed a dive today from the Hopkinson team. Lots of pizza left. Uh, I guess I was mistaken. I thought this was going to be done electronically. Apparently not. Well, the results should be up almost immediately then. I'll get you some 
information as they come in from the scores announced. It's either going to be Maddie or Al, uh, Maddie or Lissy or Lissy or Maddie. Yeah. It's with the way, uh, it's the way it's been all year, which is great for us. Which is either uh, which is great for Coach King because that gives them a guaranteed point total to go into tomorrow, which is a. There's a lot of milling around now. Yeah. Well, we've got Coach Coach King and Coach Brainer with micro. He's got a microphone in his hand. He looks like he's ready to announce something. Looks like he's Maddie. Maddie, Maddie first won. place. That'll put Lissy in second place. Gotcha. Good one-two finish. One-two-four, like we called. Wow. Good job for the Hopkins. We Denver. called the one-two-four. One-two-four for the girls. Uh, Maddie came in.
Thank you. 